and welcome to YouTube channel Health Q, the place where our mission is not only to motivate you but help you to move on to the brighter side of the health. In today's video, I am going to answer one very common question that people suffering from synchinesis ask me and that is why do my affected side's eye get smaller as my synchinesis increases or as the days go by. Now there are a couple of reasons for that and I am going to explain all of them in today's video. So if you who are someone who is suffering from synchinesis, make sure to watch this video till the end to understand what are the reasons why your eyes are getting smaller. Let's get started. So friends, the number one and the most common reason why your eye gets smaller over a period of time as your synchinesis get older is because when your facial muscles are constantly moving, like especially your oris muscle, oral muscles are constantly moving, they are also not allowing your eyelid muscles to relax. Because somehow when you are talking, your eye movements are also happening, right? So this is a crossed movement that are constantly happening. So whenever you will chew, you will speak, whenever you will sneeze, laugh, whatever you do, along with the movement around the side of your cheeks, you are also leading to movement around your eyes. That's why your eyes constantly is working whether it wants or not. So eye muscles don't get the amount of relaxation that it needs. And whenever the eye muscles don't get the amount of relaxation that it needs, it gets tired. Whenever it gets tired, it starts giving fasciculation or fluttering movements. That fluttering movements over a period of time also leads to some secondary changes in the structure of the eye muscles itself, which is shrinkage or atrophy, which means your eye muscles get shrink in its girth or else in its width. This shrinkage or atrophy would lead to making your size of the eye smaller, which means that your eye size is not reduced, but this tightness on the upper eyelid and lower eyelid makes your eyeball visibility less. So you feel the affected side's eye is more smaller compared to the non-affected side. That is number one reason. Second reason is a rare situation where people develop eyelid ptosis after a long period of synchinesis. Many a times people develop a, another secondary complication of facial paralysis which is very rare, very less found but it's still present and that is eyelid ptosis which means before your eye never used to close completely but now they have lost its flexibility or else its recoiling property and it started drooping down. This is called eyelid ptosis or else blepharospasm. This is an ophthalmologic situation where doctors can help you out by medication and certain procedures. So this is the second reason why your eyes are getting smaller. Third reason why your eyes feel more smaller is because of puffiness around the eyelids. Now again your facial muscles are not working at its optimal rate or else at optimal way. Whenever your facial muscles are not working the way they are supposed to work, what will happen is eventually the blood circulation and the lymphatic drainage that is supposed to happen on the face does not happen in the adequate way. Due to which puffiness around the eye becomes a very common issue because the fluid drainage is not happening properly. When that happens, you might experience puffiness and due to this puffiness, you will feel that your eyes have gone smaller. So that is the third reason. Reason number four for eyelid to get smaller is the tightness or else tight band which is formed on the inner side of your eyelid. Now here many a times people who have got chronic synchinesis will observe that there is a very tight kind of band which is formed on this area. This band again is due to the lack of proper muscle bulk and then this muscle has been atrophied at this area. Now when this happens the flexibility of eye does not exist the same way plus whenever there are excessive movements around the oris region this eye tightness will pop up and you will observe that the eyes are getting smaller again and again. Now again for this you need massage therapy in order to get rid of this and also to prevent this kind of eye small, uh, this kind of reduction in the eye size. And the last but not the least and again a rare condition, side effect of steroids. Yes, 
whenever you suffer from facial paralysis, steroid is the medication which is prescribed to you. Now, steroid increases the level of cortisol in your body and that sometimes leads to puffiness as a side effect of it. Again, this is rare. Not all patients will experience it, but few patients might experience. And, but at this time, the puffiness will not only be present on the eyelid, but there would be a general edema kind of thing which would be present around the face. So, the, this would be the reason why your eyelids will look smaller. So friends, whatever I mentioned were some of the common reasons due to which your eyelids look smaller as you progress in your synkinesis. The best thing to do is to prevent synkinesis at first place by taking early measures when you are in the early stage of Bell's palsy itself. Don't force your facial movements. That is one of the biggest thing and biggest mistake that people make. Don't take over stimulation or else more, more electrical stimulation. Don't force to chew on the affected side because all of these things is going to put a lot of pressure and will lead to over contraction of the muscles. But the most important thing to prevent all of these things that you can do is do regular massage of your face. This will make sure that the flexibility of your muscles is maintained, blood circulation is well maintained, lymphatic drainage is happening properly and muscle will not get atrophied and muscle will not get overly tired. With this methods, you would be able to control your synchinesis development to an extent. But in certain cases, if the nerve damage has been very high, then we cannot prevent synchinesis at all. There would be a chance of synchinesis development. In that cases, we have to prevent the, uh, the synchinesis to get worse. It should not reach to the point where it becomes so severe that even a small movement on the face causes synchinesis. That needs to be worked out on. So friends, these were some of the important reasons why your eyes are getting smaller due to synchinesis. I hope you found this video useful. If yes, make sure to like this video, share this video with your friends and family members and do not forget to subscribe to HealthQ channel. I'll see you in another video. Thank you.